My name is Matt. I'm from Danville, California. I have voted Republican in the presidential races ever since I was eligible to vote and continuing until 2016. Um, I even had a mother who was president of the local chapter of the Republican Lincoln Club, so it's really part of my DNA. But in 2016, um, I have to say it really wasn't a hard decision for me. Um, I always pointed to Trump even before he was a candidate as sort of a buffoon and uh, somebody not to be taken seriously, just an entertainer. Um, and when he first mentioned the idea of running, I told my children, don't worry about it. It's a non-starter. It's not a, not a serious person. It just, um, just a reality show host who inherited a lot of money from his father and uh, don't give it any undue consideration or concern. And then I ruined my whole credibility when what came to pass came to pass. So um, it was not a tough call for me. And I think the reasons that I thought about it a lot over the last couple of years as to why I feel so strongly about it and so passionately opposed to Trump um, is number one, uh, the lack of character. And I don't mean sort of a reasonable range of lack of character that's just part of being human. I mean a, um, an example of what I think is the antithesis, the opposite of the values that I was raised to respect and believe in, um, coming from my parents. And I think that starts with honesty instead of this compulsive pathological need to lie about everything if they think it makes them look better. Um, a curiosity about the world and a willingness to rely on others and admit what you don't know. Uh, and related to that is a humility to um, don't think you have the answers to everything. It's okay to say you don't know or you're sorry or rely on somebody else who knows more than you or share credit to people that are around you that help you get where you've got. Um, obviously, none of those apply to President Trump. And then maybe the most important is his um, unkindness that I think really ends up being cruel. Um, a lot of talk about whether President Trump is a racist or not. I don't know his soul, so I can't say for sure. Um, but I do know that he panders to racism and he takes this uh, human instinct that likes to divide ourselves into groups. Um, and he amplifies that with emotion and hatred and it makes us all weaker and lesser. So I think overall, he's just a small person. Um, the character of Malfoy in the uh, Harry Potter series comes to mind. It's just a rich, spoiled, little insecure brat who um, relies on others to do his dirty work and uh, didn't really earn it himself through his own efforts. Um, the other reason I think that the Trump uh, decision was not difficult for me um, is the, the fact that you have to dismiss science and rationality uh, to support the man. Um, and there's a million examples of where we're asked to believe his gut or um, a conspiracy theory and never rely on people who have spent their whole careers uh, focusing on one area of the world and becoming an expert in it. The reality is we're expert ourselves and own very, very few things. So we have to rely on other people that we find credible. And for me, that comes from people who really earn it and don't just spout nonsense from the end of the corner bar. Um, and last would be uh, our place in history. Um, I think there's only a few things that come up each generation which really give you the opportunity to separate yourself and be on the right side of history. And I don't know if Trump issue is equivalent to uh, the other examples that come to mind, but I like to think that if I was around when the women's right to vote was controversial or when the earth was flat or any other episode in our history where it really required you to think beyond tribe, beyond emotion, beyond tradition and focus on what is really the better argument. What's the, what's the rational, kind and um, evidence based uh, way of looking at the world that's that's most true. And to be a Trump supporter, um, I think it requires that we push that down and just focus on uh, emotion and irrationality and um, what group we belong to. So for all those reasons, I'm a huge Biden supporter of this election. I don't know if he's perfect. 
Um, but he's in a reasonable range of normal. And I don't think I'll be embarrassed and ashamed um, of the president and the direction that he's taking our country. Hope you're with me.